next speaker, I don't know how in the world we are so lucky to have this lady. I mean, wait till you see all the stuff that she is. You already came up here, but she, she loves people. She's got a heart of gold. But Stacy Shefflin is, is, well, let me finish. Gosh. She is a founder and president of YBF, your best girlfriend. She has engineered a 14-year record of success in direct sales on the Home Shopping Network, US, QVC, uh, UK, and the Shopping Channel in Canada. She has built a loyal worldwide consumer base of women with cosmetic and apparel sales in excess of 150 million. She forges a highly personal relationship with her consumer, guides them on a journey to self fulfillment using the power of beauty. And I saw that line yesterday with the, just the brows and they couldn't get enough. And then all, she said only the first 100 I have pencils for. Well, she's such a softy too. There was like 200 women. So then she took all their names and the emails and she's gonna send them one. You know, I mean, who does that? Only an ambit woman, I'll tell you that. But she's a former Ford model for 20 years. Renowned beauty expert, highly successful entrepreneur. She's sought out by national magazines such as Self, Glamour, Allure, Ellie, Good Housekeeping. And she's been featured and quoted in countless beauty books. She's not only beautiful on the outside, but the inside. And she was named one of America's most powerful women by Ladies Home Journal. She's a senior consultant with Ambit Energy. Please help me welcome Stacy Shefflin. <laughs> Probably up down at the 
The machine, oh, there it is, right there, okay. Getting real about strength, being bold and having it all now. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. We can get it now. Think positive, think new, interesting ways. If you don't have the energy that you want every day on a day-to-day -day basis, make some crib notes. Know how to make change. We're making it this weekend as a unit, as a collective group of sisterhood of women who have are like-minded and like-hearted. We know our ambit works. I heard Yolanda say the most empowering thing I think I've ever heard. No, it wasn't Yolanda. It was the, uh, what's the young lady that was doing the Spanish? Um, I, Arlene, sorry Arlene, I love you. Uh, I love you, that's what that means in Spanish. So when she said, my husband and I decided to build it, not try it. Was that empowering? I'm taking that nugget home with me. When people say, yeah, I think I'll try it. No, that's not good enough. We want to build it. So the strength in numbers, our empowerment for one another, or another on our teams is what's going to sustain us and get us by every day. It's a journey of understanding and releasing what Matt that have worked in the past, creating what is working in the present, and dreaming and planning what amazing things can be ahead for each of us in the future. Yesterday is gone. We can't do a darn thing about it. If you're sitting there worrying about somebody on your team didn't get this, didn't get that, it's a learning process. Next time you go in your power zone and see they got 48 hours to get a customer, right? You can't worry about that the next day. Pick up, learn, we go on. We've all been there. I'm going to hit that clicker. Strong faith in ourselves. God, family, country, ambit, right? I mean, come on. It's the strength that we come together as girlfriends that build us. It's our privilege to understand what those strong, powerful moments are in our life and have that special light for each one of us and help our girlfriends find it. Challenge ourselves with positive energy. Think yes, that's our sweet spot. We go from a life filled with what's wrong to a life that's strong when we think yes and positive. I, I'm telling you, I've seen it so many times how women can change overnight when they think about who they can really be, see it in their head, feel it in their heart, and live it in their life. When you feel that, the most difficult conflicts that we have are the things that are the most glorious of triumphs. We think it's bad for the moment, but it's really a gift because we learn more from that. Bringing out our own personal bold best. We've talked about it, you've heard about it already today. Positive change, focus on the attention of things that matter. Make right choices. No are non-negotiables. We say yes to too many people, right? Set our boundaries, don't overcommit. We talked about that, Alice just talked about that with, with time management. Create a life vision. If you don't have a vision board in here, make a pledge to yourself before four weeks, set a goal, four weeks are up, to make a new vision board for 2013. 2012 is old. You've already lived half of that stuff. Create a new vision. Follow our passion. Know our values. Know that you're valuable. Look, it's not a sign of vanity to know that you're beautiful. It's a sign of self-respect. It's not a sign of vanity to know your beauty on the inside and the out. It's a sign of self-respect. If you don't love self, Nobody gonna love you. Nobody wants to be around her. Love yourself. Use those as strengths and learn to be here and now. Alice spoke about that, be in the moment. The person you're with at that moment, Alice, that was a great nugget. That's the most important person. Don't sit at dinner looking at that Blackberry, that Crackberry, that iPhone, that blah, 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 blah. The person you're with is all that matters. That's being respectful kind and graceful in their presence. They matter. Create the strong and ambit career you love. It's your business. We got to all buy the entrepreneurial book that Alice wrote. We're CEOs of our own destiny. We got to find our purpose. We got to dream big. Then do the work. Don't do the vision board and not try and check things off. I love my vision boards. My sister Tracy and I have been doing them since 1989. <laughs> We take a thousand new women every year on a cruise all over the world. We've been everywhere. It's, fa it's fabulous to be together just like we are and empower one another. And we do those vision boards and then we come back on the cruise the next year and you can see women have check marks on everything they accomplished. Make it sizable.
portable, so you can either copy and reduce it and carry it with you every day. We need those constant reminders. Brand ourselves fabulous. Embrace who you are. Don't want to be like nobody else. You got to be you. There's no other. Why would you want to be somebody else? It's all about minding our emotions. We do everything emotion-based. Men do not do business emotion-based. <laughs> so keep it in control, kittens. It's all about relationships. The people you meet today are your team of tomorrow. You don't know who you're going to meet. Don't show your you-know-what in the grocery store line. She may be your Amazon consultant next week, and she'll want to be just like you. So what she sees is what she'll want to be. Role models, mentors, and sponsors. We, in this industry, relationship, marketing, we call it sometimes upline. Those are your mentors. They got there before you came along. They know something. Do you think Tracy and I go through our ambit business and never call on Debbie Atkinson? I got a beeline to her phone. That poor woman, she said, oh gosh, that's one of those sisters in power group from Connecticut. <laughs> we are sponges. We have to learn from our mentors. You know who your nationals are. You know who your ECs are. If you don't know, get on Power Zone and find out. Those are going to be our role models, and they will teach us. They will guide us. They are our mentors. Don't look for outside help from those that don't know. They've walked in the shoes. Getting the basics right. Get it right from the start, and then everything is easy. Do what matters and never give up. Building a strong, meaningful life, this creates true well-being and harmony in our ambit businesses. In, okay, everybody stand up. One second. We'll do this real fast. Okay, I want you to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. We're going to do it three times because you're going to do this every morning before you start your day. Or if you get in a stressful moment throughout the day, take two seconds to do this. You'll find such a difference. So everybody inhale. Deep, deep, deep. Exhale through your mouth. What that does is we carry so much about a gallon of bad air in both sides of our lungs throughout our whole life and we never expand it. We never get rid of it. It's toxic. It's sitting in our lungs. So we're always stressed. In. Out. Also makes your tummy go in. You feel a bit slimmer. <laughs> Sorry, got my girdle on. You know I'm always wearing that darn thing. <laughs> Embrace our sleep, nourish our spirit, and feed our soul. 
souls. God is good. We wouldn't be here without him, and he has a path for us. I can tell you, I've ventured off a few times in my life. And nothing's more important when you stay true to yourself. It's all that matters is women, please do it. There's no stress, only stressful thoughts. How many times have you gotten upset and it hadn't even happened? You know what I'm saying? If the dog hits the cat and the telephone pole goes over and it hits the trash can and goes in the street, and oh my gosh, there's gonna be an accident out in the middle of the road. <laughs> that ain't not even gonna happen. Bold energy is our currency. Energy. And it is energy. Yeah. Yes! So we have to manage it. Don't give it away. This is not for free what you have. Treat it like it's a billion dollar business. All of us are busy. We gotta do it. We grow most in our areas of greatest strength. Now this is how we find out what our strengths are. We become most creative, most inquisitive in those areas. We know what we're strong at. People tell you, oh, you're such a good organizer. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, if I had to do that. They know what your strengths are. Listen to them. We bounce back in the fastest areas where we already have that strength. Those are strong moments. They show our natural advantages that others see. This doesn't mean we have to ignore our weaknesses because we all have them. None of us are perfect, but we are perfect in our own way. It just means we grow most when we're strong in those areas. You and your practice strengths. I want you to pick six of these. Everybody get a pen and paper out, put it on your iPhone, put it on your iPad, whatever you want to do. You will be amazed once you bring awareness to your strengths, how you can use them more in your everyday life, and what a difference it will make when you do. So joy, gratitude, do what's right, not what's easy. Take initiative, be respectful, be happy. Prepare yourself for your ambit business and be consistent and persistent. You've heard our leaders talk about that. Persistent and consistent, maybe that's one you want to add. But we're going to see each other at Am Ambition in September. We got six months every month do one of these. Four weeks, concentrate. When you get up in the morning, you're going to say, I'm going to show loyalty today to my ambit business. Pick one. If you're thinking you're like, I'm sitting on the sofa, I'm not doing so much, maybe hard work's the one you want. But embrace these magical moments. A four-week plan for one little change can make a huge change. What's your vision now? Some of you have seen this before. Close your eyes and keep them closed. Really close them. Don't be in church. You know you're always looking at the pastor, the priest, the, the rabbi. You're not. <laughs> he won't see me. I just want to watch what he's doing. Take, take a mental picture of yourself today. Eyes closed. Do you, how do you see yourself? How do you want to see yourself in six months when we're at ambition together? And work your ambit business with a purpose and strength. Now open your eyes. <laughs> Have you ever seen yourself as a little kitten, little puss in boots? Well, this week in that Esther and her team and Debbie set up is all about training our weakness for power, training our sweat for strength. It's okay to work hard. Hard work gets us great things. Trade doubt for confidence and trade fear for courage. Trade ambit for nothing. Never apologize for your ambit business. Yeah. What I love and I learned from a woman, I was on the road, Tracy and I have a meeting every Wednesday night in Stanford, but we go to Freehold, New Jersey, and yeah, Freehold down there. <laughs> we, we go to the tri-state area. They've also got it in Tom's River. We go to Massachusetts, and I learned from a gal that said, I made a chicken list. I wish I could remember, and I would give her credit to this day, and I will remember because one of you have probably heard her say this before. Make a chicken list. You know how we ask and Ambit make our list? Make the list of the people you would never call. Those will be your greatest leaders. 
If you need the guts to call them, do it in a three-way. Yes, Pastor Joel. You just put him on your list. Have you called him yet? Or you that he's on your list. Be extraordinary. Practice this with passion. Practice unleashing the power within you on that chicken list. Try one the first month, maybe try two the second month. You'll get really good at it. You're just at, you're inviting. You're only inviting them to a party that you belong to and you're so proud of. You don't want to tell him what time it is that you're going to have a free open bar. You know what? You know what it is. We say too much. We vomit on them, right? I'm so excited about my event. I love my event. I can't wait to tell everybody. Jerry Thompson at 7-Eleven. Oh my God! Uh. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Went right through my warm list the first month. Chicken list is great. Be patient. They will come. You're building it. They want to be a part of what you are. Connect and engage with like-minded, ambitious women. We are. These teammates are our best motivators, and they keep us accountable. They hold us accountable. Here's identifying our ambit strengths. This is our power. You guys all know this. It's nothing new. Follow ambit's proven power zone system. Our power zone system. It's a proven system. Faithfully and confidently. Have faith in that power zone, girls. It's a leader. No other network marketing, relationship marketing, multi-level marketing company ever. I was with Mary Kay when I was 16. She didn't have this. She would have died to have Power Zone. She would have died that our sponsors hold us accountable. Watch and learn from Emmett University. Attend weekly meetings. Please, if the meeting don't need you, if you don't need the meeting, the meeting needs you. Debbie told me that from day one. Stacy, if the meeting you think you don't need it, it needs you. We get off each other's energy, and the people that come, they want to be a part of energy. Just happens that we're in energy deregulation. You success from home magazines. I bought six of those with Debbie signing and Esther signing the other day yesterday. Those are the last ones left with all our yellow jackets on it, girls. Do we have any more of those left, Esther? Oh, uh, we don't. But once they're gone. That's a massive, those were the beginners, our co-founders. Use those, they're the best tools. People will duplicate what they, we do, right and wrong. Spend time sharing and showing our teams how to enjoy our ambient opportunity. People do what we do, not what we say. How many times have you told one of your friends in ambit how to do the business, you know what you're telling her or him, and they just don't hear you? But they're like little Polaroid cameras. When you do something, they're watching and they're taking little flashes of you. And when they see you do something successful, they will do something successful. Driving depth with hands-on knowledge creates strong security for us. When we take the time to work our business with time management, like Alice talked about, with our teams, we all prosper. It's never a waste of time. Never. Get our teammates paid. Promote it to RC as fast as we can, and you'll have the true ambit power. Remember, you bring these people in. They want to be a part of you. Don't once they come in, just leave them. Had Kim Mason and Debbie Askinson done that to Tracy and I, do you think we'd still be here? I got to brag. My little sister is six away from EC. <laughs> I'm so proud of her, I can't see straight. I'm eight away. <laughs> Tracy and I are blessed to go with Miss Rose Duncan, who inspired us. If you guys want inspiration, go on Power Zone and get on the tri five star trip list. It will take you to heights you never believe. Because what is it? Accountability every day. My sweet husband, David, gets on there every morning and sees where Rose and Kevin Duncan were last year. <laughs> oh, Rose and Kevin are up. They're two above us. we got to hurry. we got to hurry. <laughs> it makes you run to success. Your team does that. It's not in competition with one another. It's in honor of how hard she worked. I want to be like her. So now we all get to go on the five-star trip together. We want all of you on the trip. Watch that five-star every day. See where you are listed. Mary, where are you now? 
Number 280. And there's thousands of 500. She's moved to 280. I guarantee you by ambition, she'll be up in the top 20 because I know what she wants to do. You know what your team players. Keep them on that five star. Here's our Ammit Women's Vision. And I want us to all say this together, starting with the everyday part. Ready? Every day I will be fearless in my convictions, limitless in my potential, and unstoppable in my God-given destiny. I'm going to put that somewhere so you guys can all take it and use it because that my sister and I said to ourselves our whole life. Our parents taught us that, to be strong, independent, self-reliant, self humbling women. We have to. We can't be any other way. Remember, we're all bold, beautiful, strong, smart, and powerful women. We're even more powerful when we energize and make the best and the most of our ambit time together. So when you're with your ambit teams, inspire them. They'll be aspiring to be you. You can do it, my girlfriends. And last, keep calm and be strong. Woo! Embrace your power. Love you guys. Thank you so much for letting me do